Hello, this is Johnny. Uh, this is a software step one. What you need to do. Uh, somebody request me to do one, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you step by step what you need to do to get the Raspberry Pi set up so that you could uh, get this uh, retro arcade uh, machine working. This is a this is a site that you want to go, which is the www. RK uh, and then punks p u n k s dot com. All right. Once you go there, let me go. Let me zoom back in. You want to scroll all up to the top, and then you're gonna look for the front end. Okay. This is why I'm recording from the phone, so I can zoom in and zoom out, so you guys can see better instead of recording directly from the from the computer because if I record it directly from computer you're not able to, to see all this up close so the one I'm looking for is the is for the pie image okay you see that so you want to down you want to click on pie image all right so let me zoom back out Okay, so you're gonna scroll down. Now this one have, so, and then you just click on it. So why not I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one because I'm looking for the old one from last year. Which is create like a Tovo, no, okay, where's my mouse? Here we go. Now the one I just downloaded just now is called the uh, Crisp 2.0. I die. I die once, and those are to a torrent uh, format. So you will have to uh, download the program, and I'll have the link below. Link uh, link below, and you could, um, and I'll show you how how to do it. Okay, and then you they, you have a different one here. Uh, I think the other one that I download it was called Mr. Uh, Harry's. Let me zoom back out so I could see the screen better. It's a one. It's a it's a one twenty eight gigabyte, but it's by uh, Mr. Harry's, and I'm looking for his name. Oh, my mouse. Okay, right here. That one right there. So that's the one I download. So when you click on it, what it does is going to ask you where you want to put it. See, I already have this version right here. Okay? So once you click download, it's going to save it. And then once you save it, if you already have the program, uh, the torrent software already installed it, after it finished download it, it doesn't really download the, the image, it just download the link. So you have to double click this and if you have the program already pre-installed uh, pre like I do, I'm going to minimize this for a second. Okay, It's going to ask you, this program will pop up, see that? And this program is called the Qubit Torrents four version 4.15 and I'll have that description where you could download this. So once you install this, it's going to ask you where you want to save this at, the image. You want to point it to your your external hard drive, uh, and then and then you want to download it. Okay, so you want to tell it where you want to put it. So for example, I want to put this one. Uh, I create a folder called uh, uh, Mr. Harry right here, and then 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 I say okay, click download. So I select the folder, and once it start downloading, uh, let me cancel out. It's gonna look like this, okay? And so right now I'm downloading the 128. Uh, I died once. Now I already have that downloaded already, but I'm going. I'm going to go ahead and re-download just to show you. Once you click on uh, this, it automatically pop up with this, okay? And this is by uh, ML. M. Let me zoom in. 
Now you might say, well, Johnny, why are you downloading so many uh, images? Well, this is how you get the ROM. If you download the images, it will come with images, the the uh, the video, and the pictures, the three D pictures or two D pictures. So this is why I download a different one. So this, if there's some game I like from this image, but I don't like the image that they created. Not I don't like. It's just I favor the one than the others. Like this one is real good in track mode. Have a very interesting track mode, but they're weak on like PSP or PlayStation uh, game. They don't have a whole lot of game there. Now, if you use a 128 gig SD card, you have to delete something that you don't want and you can add more PlayStation because PlayStation eat up a lot of space. So that's, this is the best way to do it. And this is how I get my images, my video, and my, my RK, uh artwork, box artwork because I go to RK Punk and I download it. And since I have a Raspberry, I connect my Raspberry to it and I could do that. All right, let's go back once, let's go back uh, one step back. I'm going a little bit too far on you guys. But you, what you do is you click on one of those images and then it download, okay, like you just saw. Then once you finish download, it's like less than five seconds will finish. Then you download the, the link that, that you, you selected. And then this will this will show up, okay? And it will ask you where you want to save it. Then you choose the 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 folder you want, where you want to save it, and then you click OK. Then it will it will it will do this. So what you do is you just pretty much sit there and wait till it finishes download. Now, this has been downloaded for a while since yesterday. So this one is 93% finished. This one is 62%. So probably take another day or so before it finishes because I'm downloading three of them. You only could download three of them at a, at the same time. Okay, so once you finish download it, you you will want it to click. For example, you want to click, and uh, once you finish, you could delete it and don't delete the physical file. Okay, when you say delete, it's gonna ask you, do you want to delete the physical file? Don't put a check on the box and say you want to delete the physical. You will actually delete the physical file. Then you want to say open the destiny des des the destination folder and talk today. Then it will open up and it will show you where where you see, where the folder where the file is. It's right here in the back. Okay? And there's your image that I'm downloading. But it's not finished yet, so you don't want to use it. Okay? So let me close that out. So it's still downloading. Now when you when you are running the you're gonna then after that you're gonna burn it. You're gonna use the Win32 disk image. Okay? Then you're gonna select the SD card. First, you want to format it, of course. Format your SD card, okay. Then you're gonna grab the SD card driver, which is my G. Means let me go to this side and move this up. Move this over. Okay. Size and try to adjust the screen so you can see much bigger and larger on the screen. All right. So I choose the dry letter, then I look for where I store the, the image. So you click on this folder. When it finished burning, it's going to show a bar going across and going across. And when it finished, this is going to pop, pop up. It say completed, right successful. Then you click OK. Then you're done. All right. So I'm going to go to my G drive. Now, somebody was saying, well, how do you configure the video card? So I have the link where you could config, you automatically configure the the video card for you, the revolution, whatever resolution, sorry, resolution. Keep on saying resolu resolution, <laughs> in revelation, resolution. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and open the, the folder called G Drive, G as in jungle. And you're gonna go there, all right? Now, first you have to download the link, the one called the uh, uh, the config, and this is the one that I have. I will give you the link so you could download this file, and so you want to use the Notepad edit. Let me zoom. In. Okay, you want to use the Notepad editor, uh, the editor called Notepad plus plus. 
and uh, I need to try remember to give you that link as well okay then it's going to show you all this stuff that is supposed to be in there okay so the guy I didn't created this the guy uh, who sold me the RGR he's the one who gave me this file okay he's the one who figured out how to get the what's the resolution uh, the setup correctly so that your display will, will look correctly so it's down here so yeah auto is on memory and uh, frame width, frame buffer 480 by 7 and then uh, enable the TFT display so this is the information uh, pretty much he added now the the pound sign is meaning it's just a comment it's not really a command it's a it just is mark out like a comment like this okay you just put information to let you know what this is doing okay what this section is for so this is the stuff that he added to your configuration this information right here okay so you want to make sure that those up in in your configuration so what I did is instead of trying to figure out what I need and what I need not to disable what I did is uh, I just I just copy this this file this file right here just copy it uh, let me zoom back out okay so I select copy now what I would suggest you guys do is before you overwrite it you might want to make a copy make a backup copy of your original SD card after you burn it so you're gonna to go to a folder that say the G drive that's the drive that I use and then it automatically is going to rename it called boot don't change the name on this one you want to leave it alone okay the only thing you want to do is you want to go to config.txt and rename it something else like original file or old file whatever you want whatever you want to call it okay and and then once you rename it, let's just say uh, test. Okay, because I already did this once already. Uh, this is the second time doing it. Then I'm just going to do uh, right click and then I'm going to paste it. Okay, and that's all you have to, have to do. And then you, you reject the SD card and then we're going to plug it into the, the machine. Okay. So, so to let you see what it look like but in order to you will also have to set up the reject okay so the SD card is rejected so I don't I don't need to have the window 32 now this one is still downloading so I'm not going to do anything with it okay now we reject the SD card so let me unpack here's my SD card and it's a 128 gigabyte okay I recommend using 128 gigabyte nothing smaller because you have more more gameplay more you have and um, I don't know how many games is this one I think it's 14,000 uh, the other one is the 13 uh, thousand 13,311 I think the one that the one I'm demoing right now is 13,000 something okay 